This conference will now be recorded. Okay. Hi friends. So we are going to discuss about IAM today. So as we know, so IAM is nothing but the identity access management where you are going to maintain all your users, groups, all the permissions with respect to the AWS cloud. Okay. So fine. We have discussed uh, entire theory part already in our previous session. So in our today session, we are going to see completely lab friends. So first as part of lab, first we will see how to delete how to delete root credentials okay root cred credentials what is the importance why do we need to delete this root credentials is so if you are keeping root credentials whoever knows this root credentials they can take it they can able to access these root credentials okay so once they log in they can able to create any resources they can able to delete anything so suppose if you are maintaining any sensitive information that sensitive information they can able to take it okay so like if you are storing some username and password about your net banking or internet banking if they take your username and password they can able to so analyze all your account details right so that's why very important thing is you need to delete this root credentials so once you delete root credentials nobody can able to log in into the account okay with this root credentials because anyhow you are deleting suppose if somebody is already have these root credentials if you delete these root credentials whatever credentials already available those will become a inactive so with those credentials people cannot cannot log in okay let me show you that friends just to go inside here just to come here let's say aws console login click on this click on already have an account so we already discussed how to create the free tier. So we have already account friends. Let me log in into that account. Okay, let's say here. So I just entered username and password, but we don't have any multi-factor authentication. What is meant by multi-factor authentication? So it involves multiple steps not only entering username and password along with these things you will have a one more step like kind of a otp that we are going to discuss anyhow so click on services friends then iam service you can able to find under security identity and complaints click on iam so i'm going to show you how you can delete the root credentials okay so if you see delete your root access keys why this is showing this one because your root credentials we have not deleted it if you want to delete this root credentials just click on manage security credentials okay once you are in this page click on access keys you can see something like this right so already somebody have this access key id and secret if somebody is already having this key and a secret they can able to log in into your aws account that's why what is important is important is to inactive this case or completely delete this case okay so don't use this root credentials friends i just delete it okay so once you delete it just go to dashboards and check see now it is green mark so we are done with the first step friends that is how to delete your root access keys this is how you are going to delete your root access keys okay clear so now okay now we are going to discuss about how to enable okay how to enable mfa mfa multi factor authentication on your root account if you remember friends how to log in into the aws console just you will enter username and password right so instead of entering username and password if you want to have a one more option like multi factor authentication kind of a one more extra step to to provide more security for your account you need to enable the multi-factor authentication how to do that once you log in here you just can see something called activate mfa on your root account click on this after clicking one second just see here activate mfa okay click on activate mfa so how you want to get your uh, like next step let's say you are going to enter your username and password along with username and password if if you want to enable multi-factor authentication you will have a one more extra step that is kind of a, you are going to receive one id 
you have to enter that id to check whether you are authorized user or not okay multiple factors we are going to authenticate to uh, login into the console prints that is called a multi factor authentication multiple factors we will have first factor is username and password second factor is you are going to receive some id how to enable this click on virtual mfa device see here it is clearly saying authenticator app installed on your mobile device or computer so we need to install it so click continue so what you need to do now you need to go to google play store once you go to google play store friends you can see something called google authenticator so once you installed on google authenticator you can you just have to click on plus mark in on that screenshot you just have to scan it so click on this show qr code and scan it see let's say i am just scanning now so once you scan it will display one id friends so that id first time when you are activating you have to enter this code two times by scanning two times okay one two eight so this is when i scan first time i received this mfa code i am going to scan once again okay i scanned second time i got something 266228 okay so now try to click on sn mfa what it is saying friends we have successfully sned virtual mfa click close now let me try to log out click sign out so when you sign out click on already have an account so i am trying to log in now again so it's a root user only we are trying to use the root user but this is not recommended friends always use the iim user for now let me log in with the root credential see now if you remember previously it was not asking mfa code but currently it is asking mfa code so i am going to enter mfa code that is 283681 sorry it has changed now 081883 okay just click submit see once you enter mfa code you are able to log in into the console now if you go here go to iim once again see this two has activated okay activate mfa on your root account also activate now now we will try to see how to create the users friends okay so now what we will do we will see how to create users in iim okay let's say i want to add new user i want to create new user in iim how to create new user in iim we will see just come here friends click on this create individual iim click on manage users so this is important for today's session okay so once you are here you just click on add user if you want to add the new user so here i will just simply say cloud pandit demo user 1 okay so he is my first user for this user you can get two kind of username and passwords one is programmatic access second one is manage console access okay so let's go with the programmatic access friends click on programmatic access click permissions okay see what i have done just programmatic access when we will use programmatic access whenever whenever you want to use this access key and secret from the command line interface right now how we have log in into the console from the console from the browser let's say i want to access all these aws services from the command line interface cli so then you need to have a something called access key id and a secret access key friends so what i am doing for this user cloud pandit demo user 1 i am generating programmatic access what it means is this user can able to access aws services from the command line interface or from program program it may be pyspark or whatever program you are writing okay so but this user cannot able to log in into your console okay like from the browser this user cannot access any aws services friends okay so programmatic access means only this user can able to access aws services from the command line interface or any program if it is a console access th that user can able to access aws services from the browser so as i am enabling only programmatic access this user can able to access aws services only from the 
CLI or program. Okay, remember programmatic access I am enabling click permission. So once you click permission, it is asking you to do you want to add this user to any group? Currently, we don't have any group. So I don't want to add this user to any group. Come here and check copy permission from existing user. Do you have any user already available? He has all correct. Like, let's say you have a development team. In development team already one person joined already. You have given all the permissions to him. Now another person joined in your team. Okay, he is also developer. You want to replicate same permissions which you have given to the first user, like first developer. Then you just have to use this option. Copy permission from existing user. Already developer one has the proper permission. You just wanted to copy developer one permissions to the developer two. Then you have to select the developer one here. But we don't have any user as of now. That's why this option also invalid for us. Come to attach existing policy directly. So currently he is a new user. He doesn't have any permission. So your policy is basically it is going to define what level of access you want to give. Okay, who has to access what? So all these things will be there in these policies. Anyhow, we are going to discuss policies in detail. Okay, just for now, let's say I want to give admin access, full access I want to give for this user. Just click on administrator access, then click tax. Okay, tax is basically if you want to identify any resource uniquely, you can use a some tag. Okay, click review plus review. So here you can see what is your username. Your username is Cloud Pandit demo user one. What kind of uh, access you have granted? Only programmatic access. Remember this. Okay, click create user. So when you click create user, what is going to happen? If you remember, you have granted programmatic access. So whenever you are saying programmatic access, you will get a username like that is the access key ID. Here you can see something like secret access key. Okay, these two you will get it. So these things you can show here. You can copy paste into your notepad something like this. Let's say this is my secret. So I will copy my secret, and in the same way I can copy my access key ID here, and I can save it. So this is one way. So second way is you can just click on download dot csv. So there will be one file will download. This file will have these two things. See, this file will have two things. One is access key ID. One second. So this thing will have a access key ID and secret access key. Okay, these two things will have. So what is your username? Your username, if you are able to understand, this is the user. So for this user, this is access key ID. This is your secret access key. Okay, what kind of permission you have granted for this user? Admin access you have given. He can able to access any AWS services from the command line interface or program. He cannot able to log in into the console because if this user wants to log in into the console, you should have a username and a password. But we don't have password. See, password is empty because we have not granted console access for this user, friends. Clear? Is this clear to all of you, friends? How I have created programmatic access for this user? Can you confirm our chat window quickly, friends, so that we will go and we will proceed for further? Okay. Clear, friends? Okay. So now we are going to discuss how to create user. Okay, how to create user to grant console access to grant console access. Okay, console access. In this also you will have a two steps. Friends, one is you can generate generate password automatically, automatically, or you can generate password. Like you can give customized password also. You can give customize password. You can give okay password. You can give. So these two things we will see now. Okay, come back here. Go to console friends. Go to services. Click on IAM here. What you need to do? Just click on users. Here, if you see, this is the user we have created it previously. Now we will create new user. Click add user. Here I can say cloud pundit demo console user. Okay. 
console user okay he can able to access aws services from the console that's why console access console user okay so what kind of access you want to give programmatic or aws management console access aws management console access when you check it you can able to see two options one is auto generated password second one is custom password what is the auto generated password you will see auto generated password is nothing but it is going to give you password automatically you no need to give some password okay it will generate some password for you you just have to remember this password okay so let's go with the auto generated password for now okay so user must create a new password at next sign in let's say so what you are doing here this is the user you are granting a console access so meaning by using this username auto generated password this user can able to access aws services from the browser when he is trying to access aws services from the browser first time when he log in it will ask him to reset his password because this password is known to many people like all admin people known right so that's why this password he has to reset on first attempt whenever he is logging into the console first time it will ask him to reset immediately if you want to do that you have to check this option friends i just check what it is saying user must create a new password at next time when he try to log in into the aws console first time he has to change his password whatever password we are giving this password will allow him to log in but when once he log in immediately he has to reset he has to change his password okay fine you just check this option click permissions so as we discussed friends add user to group means if you have any group you can add this user to that group copy permissions from existing user means already you have a one user he has admin access if you want to give same admin access to the new user you can copy all the permission from this user to existing user but i don't want to give like this go to attach change case so so i want to go to policies only click on policy here for this user i want to give just read access okay s3 see image and s3 full access something like this okay like okay if you if you are confusing let me give here also admin full access administrator access okay full access you will have on all resources friends okay administrator access click to tax tax is basically to identify resource uniquely okay click review okay so this is you can understand friends cloud pandit demo console user is a console user but how we are generating password you can see here auto generated password when we will get that auto generated password just click create user you will get that auto generated password see friends so this is the password it has generated for you okay this is the password it has generated for you if you want to copy it you can copy it here okay and what is the username this is the username with this username and with this password you can able to log in into the console okay from the browser friends so instead of copying want to download this username and password also just click on download.csv okay now you can open this csv file okay just i am trying to open that csv file friends just we wait see here you have a username password but you don't have any access key and a secret access key why because we have not granted the programmatic access for this user you just granted the console access when you are granting console access you will get username and password only clear friends fine come back okay is it clear to all of you friends okay so now i will go and okay so friends now we will discuss how to create user with custom password so if you remember previously we have discussed how you can create a user with the auto generated password now i will show you how to create user with the custom password okay just to come here click on services friends click on iam here so go to users add user here you can say cloud pandit demo 
custom console user console user two. Okay, already we have a console user, so I'm just taking console user two. So for this person also, I want to enable the management console, but here I want to enable custom password. Just to select custom password. Here you can enter whatever password you want to give. Let's say I will just say test and then it one two three four. See so show password. If you want to see the password, you can just click on show password. So test at the rate one two three four I have given. So here what it is saying, user must create a new password at next sign in. So he has to change this password. Already known this password known to many people. I want to reset it whenever I log in first time. It will force you to reset. Without resetting, you will not be able to access any AWS services. Okay, just turn off, hide it, and permissions. Same friends. Add user to group means if you have any group, you can add this user to the group. So if you have already one or two developers, you have given required permissions to them. If you want to copy permissions from them to new user, you can just select that option. But I don't want to select. I don't want to copy permissions from this user. I will just go here, and I will give the policy. Policy is nothing but a so what whom you want to allow what kind of resources, who has to access what resources, something like that. You have to define that. We are going to discuss anyhow. So let's say for this user also, I am just giving administrator access. Click tax. So tax is basically to identify one resource uniquely. Let's say created by this particular user is created by something created by you can say cloud funding okay so created on created on so th something thursday okay something like that you can give click review then click create user when you click create user it is not going to give you any password why it is not going to give you any password anybody can answer friends why it is not giving password here because password is set by you so it no need to display here right so that's why it is not going to show that password for okay so that's how you need to have a your custom password friends so as of now everybody is clear friends whatever we have discussed i am not getting any response friends please confirm our chat window okay okay friends so now what we are going to discuss is we will see how to create how to create group in aws iam okay so we will see now friends how to create group click on this go to iam friends click on groups Create a new group. If you want to create a new group, just click create new group. Here I want to give, give my first group name, Cloud Fund Aid. Okay. Dev group. Dev group. Okay. Developers group. This is developers group. Just click next step. So here, what level of permission you want to give for this group? Let's say for the user, I have denied everything. I have stopped all access for the user one. Let's imagine. For user one, I have stopped all the access. But what happens is when I have added that user to the group, when I have added that user one to the group, he will inherit all the permissions which group has. Let's say now for this group, I am going to give administrator access. Let's click on administrator access, click steps. Okay. When you are given administrator access and click create group. So what is going to happen is for this group, we have a administrator access. Let's imagine you have a one user. He don't have any permission. He don't have any permission. Now, if you add that user to this group, he will get all the access. Why? Because that user is part of this group. Even though that user doesn't have all the permission. Yes, he is part of this group. He can able to access all the services. Why friends? Group has full permission, user doesn't have any permission, but still user is able to access all the services just because group has full permission. Okay, this group has full permission, but whoever is part of this group, even though they don't have any permission, they will get all the permission because those users are part of this group. Remember, 
So currently, how many users are there in this group? You can see here users, zero users are part of this group. Okay, I want to add new user to this group. Just to select this group, click group actions. I want to add user to this group. Click on add users to the group. So it is going to display all the users which are available. Let's say when you have hundreds or thousands of users, you can search here. So you can say console. Okay, so console with the console name, there are two users available. Okay, one is console user second one is console user two so let's say i want to give only console user i want to add console user to this group select that user click add users okay, that's all so number of people who are how many people are part of this group currently friends only one person okay even though this one person doesn't have any permission okay completely all permissions are restricted for this user still this person can able to access all the services how just because this user is part of this group even though this user doesn't have all the permission but group has full permissions okay so that's why he can able to access all the things so this is how you are going to create a new group this is how you are going to add new users to this group friends okay so one user can be added into multiple groups let me create a new group create new group okay so cloud pandit okay support team support group support group okay click next step so what kind of what level of access you want to give for these people i just wanted to give administrator access for these people also click next step click create group that's all so now i have a one more group for this group see here this user is part of this group same user can be part of this group as well just click on this group okay don't confuse here also you can add that user but let me do it very simple manner just select this group for this group i want to add a new user just click on group actions click add users to the group now it will display all the users if you remember i have added the console user console user is this person just select it click add users see now same user is part of both the groups meaning one user can be a part of multiple groups okay remember friends one user can be part of multiple group but you cannot add one group under another group friends only you can add users under group you can add users under group friends but you cannot add group under another group okay fine so now we have created two groups we have seen how you how to add the new users to the group let's say one more user i want to attach i want to add to this group just click here click group action click add users to the group already one user you have attached remaining users are these two people let's say i want to add this person also for this group just select that person click add users okay see now for this group we have added two people for this group we have added two people now if you come to dashboards you can see so we have deleted root access keys we have enabled multi-factor authentication so we have created new users we have created the groups and we have assigned required permissions to these groups okay fine okay clear as of now friends okay fine so now we will see how to set password policy password policy what is password policy password policy is basically it is going to tell users has to set their password let's say user simply what they will give they will simply say bangalore 123 okay so something whatever name they are interested right some god names krishna 123 something simple names they will give so somebody has seen some few words when you are typing they will try to find some keywords k you have typed at last you have typed a so they will figure out okay what is the names which has starting with the k letter and ending with a and they will try to find your password keys so these are very easy to identify your password so that's why you have to have some password policy which will tell how you have to set your password how many capital letters you have to maintain in your password how many small letters you have to maintain 
okay what is the length of your password how many numbers you have to maintain how many special characters you have to maintain so this is nothing but a password policy how to set this password policy in aws iam console we will see now come here friends click on services go to iam again so once you are on iam service just click on identity providers one second sorry just click on account settings friends okay click on account settings now you can see something called set password policy i want to set password policy click on set password policy so now it is asking you to how you want to what is the length of your password my length of password at least eight characters this eight characters includes one capital letters at least one upper case letter one lower case one number one special character okay so do you want to enable this password expiration let's say these people has to reset password for every 90 days if you want to enable that option you just have to say so let's say today he has set a new password this password is going to expire in 90 days if you want to make it as only 30 days you can make it as 30 days okay but minimum in industry we will maintain 90 days friends okay so whenever you are resetting password this requires administrator reset no i don't want to um, maintain any dependency with the administrator that's why i won't check this one so yellow users to change their own password let's say if they forget their password or they want to reset their password in the middle so not after 90 days but before 90 days after 3 days only he realized that he has shared this password with somebody else he want to change his password is by his own okay so that also you can allow prevent password reuse suppose people are using same password which he has used two months back so you have to tell don't use the passwords which you have used since last five times today i have resetted password so last time i have used some bangalore today i am using chennai next time when i am resetting if i try to use bangalore password again what is going to happen it will tell you have already used okay last five passwords you should not use new password you have to try to use okay so how many passwords they have to remember at least five passwords okay set all these things click save changes okay friends so now you have seted your permissions with all these policies now you go to dashboards now you can see all the things we have enabled on iam so you your account is more secure now okay friends so this is how you are going to enable your password policy okay clear so till here done friends now we will see so if you remember now we are trying to do friends what we will do is how to install how to install cli okay aws cli command line interface we are going to see so once we have seen how to install aws cli we will see how to create a user with the programmatic access and how to like how you can log in from the command line interface we are going to see friends okay so now we will see how to install the aws cli very simple friends come here go to open new tab here simply say aws dot amazon dot instead of console we are not using console to log in so we are going to use cli just put here cli enter so after that you can see if your operating system is windows or mac os or linux based on that what you need to do is so you just have to click on 64 bit windows click on 64 bit windows so once you click on that it is going to download your cli software friends okay so let it download once it is downloaded what you need to do is just click on open when it is done something like that okay let it download friends so it is downloaded now okay i am trying to install click next i want to agree for all these things then click next okay fine then click see where your software is installing at this particular place remember so this is the path we need to add in our like environment variables okay just click next click install so it will just take one or two minutes to install friends let's wait until one or two minutes
if you have any questions you can uh, paste your questions for chat to your friends i will try to answer we will need to delete root access keys that's what i told friends root access keys you have to delete to maintain your account more secure because if somebody has taken your root access keys they can enable anything in your account okay so to avoid such kind of issues you need to delete root access keys okay madam so we have installed friends just click finish now you try to open command from cmd okay here you just say where aws so what it is saying your aws is available here okay now you try to say aws iphone iphone version just to try to find aws version so aws version it is showing here see when you are installing first time there will be some issues okay for me there are some issues those issues i have resolved how to resolve those issues is very simple what you need to do just to go to suppose if you are not getting these things where aws when you do you may not get something like this in the same way you may not get something like this what you need to do first time um, go to c drive local disk next go to program files go to image go to aws cli so take this path copy this path okay after that click on this pc right click go to properties so this is the issue i don't have currently but i am showing you if you are installing first time you may face this issue okay so click advanced system settings click environment variables so now you just have to here click edit okay so once you edit it so here you just have to paste it that particular thing friends whatever you have copied just now you just have to put it here slash colon just click okay click okay click okay okay see if you add it no problem but if it if it is working without adding the path that is fine but for me it has not worked when i installed first time but currently it is working but in your case also first time it may not work so in that case you just add this path now also you just try to close it open it again where aws you try to say it is going to work for me now okay aws iphone iphone version so now it is going to tell so this is the version okay cli 2.0.3 okay suppose if you want to uninstall this one okay we will discuss how to uninstall that uh, cli but currently it is installed currently we have installed okay fine now we will see okay okay already we have seen okay already we have aws cli is ready okay already we have aws cli is ready friends command line interface now what i will do okay create user with programmatic access programmatic access and try to access aws services aws services from cli okay so what we have done already we have aws cli is already ready we have installed now what i wanted to do i want to create a one user with the programmatic access once i have that access key id and secret key by using those things i can able to access aws services from the cli that i am going to show you now this second step we will see now go to console login friends so then go to all services click on iim here okay identity access management once you are here you just click on users to create the new user i have already three users click on add users so this user is basically cloud funding demo programmatic user okay cli user something i will give okay cli user so what kind of permission you want to give only programmatic access click next permission so i want to give full permissions come to attach existing policies i want to give administrator access click tax click review plus create click create user all these things we have discussed friends that's why i am going bit fast so now if you see there is a access key id here you have a secret key so what you can do is you can download it and you can open it here from here you can copy paste 
now i will show with these things how you can able to log in from the cli very simple you just have to use aws configure configure enter so it is going to ask you to enter your key id what is key id this is your key id just don't give any space as friends try to copy yes it is okay just paste it enter so secret access key this is my secret access key let me just enter enter so in which region you want to log in so default so output so let's say you want json format or something i don't want any format for now okay so i just log in into the console now we will see aws s3 ls do you have any s3 buckets okay aws s3 is nothing but s3 service i want to list down all the buckets which are there this is the command to list down all the buckets which you have currently we don't have any buckets so that's why it is going to it is not going to display anything let's wait so it is going to give some output but it is not going to display anything because we don't have any s3 buckets friends Uh, yeah so as we don't have anything so what it is showing it is not showing anything okay as we don't have any buckets let me show you come here go to services go to s3 here you can see storage okay go to s3 storage you can able to see we don't have any services okay we don't have any service don't worry just for now just to display over there i am just creating okay cloud fund a Okay. Yeah, something so this is globally unique in this region let it be just click create just to keep everything default we have created let's try to access now see friends cloud pundit cloud pundit this is the s3 storage we have created so you are able to see this is displayed here clear friends so this is how you can able to access aws services from cli okay we will discuss more things from the cli as well in the future but i'm just showing you how you can use this programmatic username and password programmatic access how to use so we have seen how to use this programmatic access right so now we will see okay friends now we will see how to use how to use console username and password okay now we will see how to use console username and password come here click on i am user okay click on users click add users to create the new user friend okay so here console user iphone cloud funded okay so this is my so this is my user so what access i want to give console access i want to give a custom password okay because auto generated password you might have seen already friends it will be a some lot of uh, small characters and special character it is very difficult for me to enter so that's why we will use the custom password it will be easy one two three four just to show the password test at the rate one two three four see i want to reset this password on first login okay see here user must create a new password at at next sign in okay i will show you this one what exactly it means so we need to reset the password when you first time login with this username and this password click permissions so what type of permissions you want to give come here so let's say i just wanted to give a read s3 read access click on s3 image and s3 full access okay these policies we have not discussed friends in tomorrow session we will discuss about these policies okay click tax click review so tax we already discussed for uniquely identifying particular resource click create user so now we have this user 
so we already know the password because we are we have set that password how to log in friends so this is the you link you have to use this is the link you have to use to log in into your aws console okay let me go to incognito mode let me put this url here so when you try to access this url automatically it will find this is a cloud pandit account see it has found cloud pandit account and what is the username what is the username friend this is the username copy this username and put this password what is the password we are given test at the rate one two three four see now i am trying to log in into the console from another browser from the incognito see i try to log in but on first attempt when i try to log in it is asking me to tell me your old password i will just enter my old password it is asking me to reset new password okay let's say i will give something okay so you can reset confirm password change so i have entered my old password i have entered my new password i have resetted my password basically once you reset your password you can able to log in here okay you can able to log in here you can find all the AWS services here, here or here you can able to find. Okay. So this is how you can use console username and password to log in into the AWS console from the browser friends. Okay. So this is how you, we can do all the IAM activities. Okay. So only thing that is left is IAM policies friends that we are going to discuss tomorrow session. Okay. Yeah. That's all for today, please. Thank you.